Alright, so the last part of this video, we're just going to look at a common type of word problem. And it's a, you know, supply and demand curves and trying to figure out the consumer surplus and the producer surplus. So first, let's talk through a couple things in this graph. You have a supply and a demand graph. Um, so both those equations are inequalities. So like the green one, you'd shade down, and the red one, you'd shade up. And they're the price of a product based on how many you produce. So like if you produce a lot, um, you know, the demand's going to go down, um, but the price is going to go up because it costs more to produce more. So where those two meet in the middle, that equilibrium point, is the market price. That's the price that you want to charge. And then this green triangle, where it says consumer surplus, um, and the red triangle is to producer surplus. The consumer surplus is the measure of the amount that the consumers would have been willing to pay above what they actually paid. And the producer surplus is the measure of how much the producers would have been willing to receive below what they actually received. So let's say we have two supply and demand functions here, uh, where P is the price and X is the number of units for some random thing. Let's find the equilibrium point and the producer and consumer surplus using the area of the triangle formula. Okay, so now how to graph inequalities on the calculator. Um, we're going to open, open up a new document and add a graph. And we're just going to erase the equal sign. So you're going to hit delete. And then now you can plug in, um, you can plug in whatever sign you want. So let's go with a less than or equal to here. So y is going to represent p in this inequality that I'm graphing. Even though it is an equal sign, we're going to graph it as an inequality. All right, and x will be x. So we'll type in 150 minus 0. 0.00, what's that, four o's, one x. All right, and the whole thing looks shaded because we're kind of zoomed out um, too much. All right, and then uh, for the other inequality, we'll make that a greater than. So I will erase the equal sign, add that part. So we got 60 plus point zero 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 two x. All right. And let's zoom out a little bit. Um, if you're not sure how much to zoom out, we could zoom fit first. And I don't know how well the job that did. So let's go back to zoom standard. Right, we're just going to zoom out. Uh, so we know that the y-intercept here is at 60 and 150. So we can zoom out until we see those y-intercepts. And all right, so these look pretty. The reason why these kind of look horizontal is because these lines are, um, like these slopes are pretty small. So what we could do is go back to like zoom standard, or window settings actually. We could set our y min at 0 and our y max. Since our y-intercept is 150, we'll set it at 200. All right, and then let's just set our x min at one at zero, and let's just go with like ten thousand for now. All right, not big enough. So let's try it again. Window zoom standard. Let's. Oops, sorry. Well, oh, didn't mean to do that. So window window settings. So x min zero, x max. Let's do add a couple other zeros. Let's go from zero to two hundred now. Um, nope, still doesn't work. Let's go window settings. It would make more sense if we just found the x intercept. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, so now we see, we zoomed out far enough where you could see our equilibrium point. So to find that point, we're going to find the intersection. So analyze graph intersection. All right, so we could see that the market price should be 120, and that occurs when you produce 3 million of these. All right, so now to find the consumer surplus and the producer surplus, which remember it's this picture right here, uh, we're going to graph a horizontal line by hitting uh, tab through 120, all right, and we're going to find the area of this triangle right here. So um, we could see that this y-intercept is at 150 because that was this equation here, had a y-intercept of 150, this one had a y-intercept of 60. So if we were so now we can use those numbers to find the area of these triangles. So this triangle here has a height of 30 from one, 
20 to 150 and then this base here would be at 3 followed by 60 so that's 3 million all right so this uh consumer surplus here you can find by doing um 30 times 3 million divided by 2 so we'll do control plus page and we get oops did not mean that 30 times 3 million divided by 2 all right so that's your consumer surplus and then our producer surplus is going going to be this triangle down here all right so from 60 to 120 this height would be 30 and the base is the same so the height doubled which means that the area is going to double. So we just do 60 times 3 million divided by 2, and that should give us double what the consumer surplus was. So we get a producer surplus of 90 million. All right, so that's it. Hope you found it helpful, and let me know if you have any questions.